Oh, oh, like here. And today we have a new kind of video. But first, I want to ask you guys to check out the channel, subscribe for more insane and maybe even godly Yu Gi Oh videos. And please give this a thumbs up. And speaking of thumbs up, you guys, shout out to the giveaway winners. You guys are on the screen now. The giveaway winners of the God Card Structure Decks, you guys. And speaking of those decks, check out those last two videos. It was the review for the God Card Structure Decks. It was absolutely amazing. It was the duel with the Rare Hunter, you guys. That was a crazy duel, the War of the Gods. Check that out when you guys get a chance. It was freaking awesome. But yeah, you guys, today we have our graded returns. It's gonna be freaking awesome. And shout out to Whatnot, you guys. We'll put a little QR code on the, on the screen. It may be there the whole video, we'll see. Um, but yeah, QR code on the screen, you guys, to go follow Simply and Lucky on Whatnot for daily live stream Yu-Gi-Oh! box breaks, guys. What? Daily live stream opening. It's 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 been insane. We have some of the most godly pulls I've ever seen, um, and I just hope that we can continue doing that together. And so uh, this is, it's pretty, it's been pretty crazy, guys. So on Whatnot, we did do the live first edition Pharaoh's Servant opening. Um, we'll also have a link to Whatnot at the top of the description below as well. Um, the live first edition Pharaoh Servant opening. This is the returns for that, the returned graded cards for that video. So anybody that got a hit or foil card from that video has some returns here. We're hoping to see, you know, there probably is gonna be a few eights, some nines, maybe even just a 10. Um, and this is returns with Beckett though, but I wanna save that for the end of the video. I wanna talk about some other things that we've been doing because it's been crazy, crazy guys. Um, so on whatnot, a couple themed openings that we've been doing, we're doing, um, Kaiba's briefcase, we've been doing ghost hunts, we've been doing grandpa's cards, and just starlight search, starlight, star bright, we got, we're gonna see you in our dreams tonight. You guys, it's been crazy, we've been pulling three to five hundred dollar cards left and right. Um, so one opening I wanted to talk about today was the, the uh, Kaiba's briefcase, and so this is what we do, guys. We'll get to the graded cards, don't worry, but I just wanna, I wanna talk about these, these these different openings. So this is Kaiba's briefcase. This is the ladder to the blue eyes right now. I know there's no ghost rare blue eyes in there, but there is super rare, ultra rare blue eyes card. So I'm really hoping we can pull one for you guys today so I can show you these beautiful openings. So let's take a dive into Kaiba's briefcase. First pack, you guys, here we go. Kaiba's briefcase. Give it to us. Kaiba! Beautiful cards. There's so many blue eyes cards here. We've got the Maiden with the eyes of blue. That's a nice card band too. Some harpy cards, black wings. Nice. And then blue eyes, chaos, max, dragon. Look at that first edition ultra rare card. Beautiful, you guys. Climbing the ladder to the blue eyes cards. This is crazy, guys. Can we get another blue eyes hit? Here we go, super express. And last but not least, we have a Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Actually, a very big hit in the set, you guys. So nice. We did get an ultra rare Blue Eyes card. We'll set that right there. Just looking at you guys. This is the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. I like how he's blue, too. We're going to go blue on blue into a Kaiba Duelist pack. Can we get a foil today from the Kaiba pack? Are you guys ready? Let's do this. This is one of our themed auctions that we do for daily box price over on Whatnot, you guys. Check it out. Link at the top of the description below. Here we go. We got Saggy the Dark Clown. Ring of Defense. Familiar Knights. Oh, man. Oh, man. There is a potential pull here, guys. Can we get that blue eyes white dragon? Yo, yo! Hit Totsumi Giant with a Kaiser Seahorse. Nice, guys. Seriously, though, on these Duelist Pack Kaibas, guys, it has been absolutely crazy. It is like a 1 in 50 chance. You guys have seen me do those 100 pack openings on Duelist Pack Kaiba. About a 1 in 50 chance for those ultimate rare cards. We had 40 packs we opened, and we pulled 5 ultimate rares. Some of the most crazy, godly pulls I've ever seen in my life. And if we do have a video for that around somewhere, I may be able to show it during this video. But it was insane, guys. It was absolutely insane. Moving on, another themed opening that we do, guys, is the Hunt 
the ghost rares and they only come out at night you guys they only come out at night so this is ghost from the past mixed with rage of raw dude we, we guys we have pulled so many so many ghost rare god cards it's been absolutely just crazy oh man have we pulled ghost dark magician look at that to bring us some luck let me pull them out let me pull them out today the ghost rare dark magician guys just gonna just gonna throw him in the middle so this is the this is the hunt for the ghost rares we pulled ghost rare dark magician we pulled um ghost rare blue eyes alternative it's been crazy guys and these are the people's cards these are not simply like these cards these are cards we're opening on stream with you guys so all right goes from the past so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three and three let's do this right now let's do the top three let's see what happens guys let's see what happens we are ghost hunting today we are ghost hunting today first pack are you guys ready here we go Yo -yo! We got Mech Lord Astro, Jinzo Lord. Dude, I love this set, man. Freaking Jinzo cards and a Ghost Rare Raw. Doesn't get any better than that. Mech Lords, Mech Lords, and a Wild Monster appears. That's a good sign. Wild Monster is going to appear. All right, now it's time for Ghost from the Past. You guys ready? Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Man, if we pull it, you guys gotta remember on YouTube, we're, we're 0 for 2 right now. Or just zero ghost rares on video on YouTube right now. I just wanna I just wanna say that. On the stream, on the stream, we're on fire. We're on fire. We pulled our first pack ever on whatnot was a ghost rare dark magician. Absolute godliness. Our first pack ever, which was ghost from the past, obviously, ghost rare dark magician. And then now we've gone on to pull multiple ghost rare cards. But it's just crazy, guys. If we do this on this video right now, mmm, spicy. Ojama Country, Madolche, Mass Change. Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. That's actually one of my favorite cards in the set. That's not a Ghost Rare, so that's pretty cool. This guy and uh, what's that? Supernova Red Dragon. I love that card. Boom. Nice hit. Nice hit. Let's go. Let's keep going. Heart of the cards, guys. Heart of the cards. Believe. Let's get a foil from Razor Raw, at least. Come on. Three packs deep. Duragito, Psychic Shockwave, Metal Reflex Slime, The Fortress, and Nice Mega Cyber. That's one of my favorite rares in the set. Look at this guy. And of course, he's supporting Jinzo as well. Very cool. All right, one more ghost from the past here. Getting crazy, guys. Getting spicy. Here we go. Splash Mage. Metal Foes. Sun Seed Shadow. We're going to have to do it. Sizzling Soldier on Silver Sublight Speed Jet. Can't track or can't see or can't escape the light speed laser. Sun Seed Shadow. Dragoonities. Orchestrate Return. Not bad. All right, here we go. Rage of Raw. We're just warming up, guys. We're warming up. We're going to get there. The Resolute Mech Lord. Monster Reborn. Jinzo. There we go. <laughs> Jinzo jacked her into Cyber Energy. Look at the Jinzo pack there. All right, you guys. We got our Jinzo out here. This guy's going to bring us a little bit of extra luck with this Dark Magician right now. A little bit of extra luck. Here we go. Last pack. Yo! Hieratic, Time Thief, Photon Thrasher, Metal Foes. The one ghost we haven't pulled is Crystal Wing. Yeah! Shooting Star, TGEX Dragon. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Go ahead and clean this up. We're going to leave Jinzo out there, actually, because he is a man of legend right now. We actually do have a graded return Jinzo, and if we could see a 9 or 10... Nine something on that guy, that would be absolutely godlike. Now, before we get into the graded returns, I do have a few packs left here. We'll, we'll shuffle action in there. Um, from our Pharaoh's Servant pack openings that we were doing at the time. What do we got? We got six packs left. Um, I think we had about some amount overall. If we have some more, we'll see. But I have six packs for today's video, guys. I really want to just try to get an epic Pharaoh Servant card for you guys here just because I want to show you what Pharaoh Servant's all about. Um, these, I believe, are from a 36-pack box. So if we do a pool of Jinzo somehow right now, just remember, just remember you were here for it. You were here for it. <laughs> all right, you guys, here we go. Pharaoh Servant packs into the first edition Pharaoh Servant Returns. Are you guys ready? 
My soul is ready right now. First pack, here we go. I'm taking a whiff, by the way. I know it's a little weird to whiff your guys' cards when we're opening them on stream, so I'm taking full advantage of whiffing cards that we're pulling today. Here we go. Wow, 2003 Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. It doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't get much better than that. Man, 2002 Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, all right, here we go, here we go. First pack, we have six packs here. It's about a one in four chance. Is it one in six or one in four? One about one in six, actually, for a foil. I was like, I wanted the ratio good so we can at least try to get one foil today. Let's see if we can make it happen. Oof, these packs have been rough. Been rough for this pack here. Four star Ladybug of Doom. Regulation of the Tribe. Skull Mariner, man. The pirate ship that appears out of mist and sinks in these seagoing vessels. Nice. Cold Wave. All right, cards are looking a little better now. Got a Cold Wave. And shit. Oh, shit. We got a shit. <laughs> awesome pull, you guys. Classic card that I never found a use for. Solomon's Lubbock. Deep Sea Warrior. Key set tie and Oni tank, man. Oni, demon, demon tank. Should have been a fiend. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the machine's fine. But nice cold wave pull there, guys. Um, definitely, you guys can see the classic, classic pulls we're going into this video right now. I'm so glad that I was able to have these packs for this. I was just, we actually opened some of these on stream already, I think. And somebody, I believe, pulled an ultra rare card. Did they pull a Buster Blader? That would have been crazy. Trying to remember. Man, if we get a Buster Blader today, woo we Might have to get that graded. These are unlimited packs though. That would be a gamble. All right. Uh, Cyber Falcon, what is up with the first few packs in these? First few cards in these packs. Shadow Eyes, Drill Bug, and a Morphine Jar, number two. Not bad. Not bad at all. Doku Royaiba. Dark Bat, Insect Imitation, and Attack and Receive. Man, you just, look how classic these cards are. Look how classic they are. Love it. Four more packs here, guys, and then we go into those great returns. Jinzo himself, the Lord, the man of legend, is watching over us right now. Somehow making him appear in these packs for us today. Let's do this. Come on, guys. Believe. 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 Here we go, seven completes. Ooh, spicy, looking spicy, seven completes. Enchanted Javelin, guys, Enchanted Javelin. That's a pretty cool card. Overdrive. Uh, ooh, Solemn Wishes. Solemn Wishes is actually a very good common card, very hard to pull from Pharaoh's Servant. Usually she comes with some additional goodies. Yeah! Oh, premature burial! Oh, baby! Ultra rare 2003! Woo! Look at that. That is a gorgeous looking card. Those borders are mighty good as well. Wow, we. Wow, we. Good thing I'm prepared over here, like our stream. We're gonna put that in a sleeve right away. Let's look at the back. Absolutely crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. Premature burial. That is insane. Put that straight into a top loader. Jinzo, thank you for watching over us. You are a man of legend. Wow, guys. We actually pulled an ultra rare. I was like, maybe, maybe hopefully we pull a super. I was feeling a super. But I'll take a premature burial any day of the week. Um, I both, is it? It should still be banned. I'm like thinking right now. I'm pretty sure it's banned still. Uh, too many combos with like bouncing the equipment back to the hand and then you could just keep using premature burial. Also in our pack, that's Solemn Wishes, guys. Though. That's that's a rare card. That's a very classic rare card. Very cool. We have Darkfire Soldier number two, Bite Shoes, All Sing, White Tiger, and Minor Goblin Official. We're killing it today, guys. We're killing it. Jinzo, thank you for providing this premature burial. Let's see if this premature can lead us into another foil pool. Get you gorgeous card. Here we go. Gamble. This is a gamble. Got the Cyber Falcon. The Drill Bug. Ouch, man. Shadow Eyes. And the Red Moon Baby. All right, all right. Red Moon Baby. Interesting card in Pharaoh's Servant, for sure. feel like one of the first dedicated uh, vampire cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, but still. 
Very interesting. Mystic Probe, Deep Sea Warrior, DNA Surgery. That's pretty nice, you guys. DNA Surgery, another big common hit with our Solemn, uh, solemn Wishes. Yeah, very cool, guys. All right, two more packs remaining, and then we go deep into that <laughs> graded return box. Today is the day of Pharaoh's Servant. We got Dark Fire Soldier, Metal Detector, no way. Flying Kamakiri. Ah, I thought that was a foil. Monster Recovery, guys, not bad, not bad. I feel like it did something different in the show, right? I feel like it was really good in the show. Uh, World Suppression, Burning Land, that's a crazy freaking card. Dark Fire Soldier and Bike Shoes again. All right, guys, we are not done. This is the last pack of Destiny. Two foils out of six packs is pretty freaking godly. I'll take I'll take anything, guys. A super, a secret, uh, ultimate rare. <laughs> anything. Any foil would make this pretty godly opening, you guys. Here we go. Give it to us. Kaiba! Look at that. We got a little Kaiba action back there. See, he's there. He's, all, he's always watching. He's always watching. I'm going to take one last whiff. Ah. <sighs> Vintage, classic Yu-Gi-Oh. Man, doesn't get better than that, guys. Here we go. Man, Spikebot. The Regulation of the Tribe. Skull Mariner. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Cold Wave. Oh, Limiter Removal. Man, you forget this card's in PSV. This is an epic, powerful card. One of the most powerful cards, I feel like, in original Yu-Gi-Oh! that just pumped monsters up. Limiter Removal, super rare from Pharaoh's Servant. Doubles the attack of all machine-type monsters. Wow. At the end of the turn, all machine-type monsters you filled are destroyed. Crazy. It's all machines, guys. This is not one machine. This is all machines at once. This card's crazy. Limiter Removal. Reign of Mercy. Nice. Type 0, Twin-Headed Fire Dragon. Classic Yu-Gi-Oh. Invitation to a Dark Sleep. This guy's pretty crazy looking, man. Don't let that guy... Don't let him get you. Don't let him get you. All right. We actually got two foils. Two foil spell cards from Limited Removal. The cool thing about our Pharaoh Servant box opening is, is we did get some monsters uh, that we, we sent to get graded. So that was pretty nice. All right, you guys. This is it. Pulled some epic godly cards there. Now it's time. Now it's time. Our graded returns. Um, we did receive this graded return has been organized for the video. I have not seen these cards yet, so I'm gonna make this as, uh, or it's gonna be as epic for you guys as it is for me. I was told there's definitely some awesome stuff in there, but do remember guys, it is hard to get um, really good grades from especially classic vintage Beckett. So. This is Beckett's graded cards. We're on the search for the gold label. It's pretty hard to get a gold label. A gold label would definitely be the same as like a PSA 10 for sure. Um, so gold labels are 9.5s and 10 in Beckett. And um, yes, I'm ready. My soul, my body is ready, you guys. Are you ready for this? This is our first graded return. I think these have been organized. Please be organized. I swear I can open this. All right, we're gonna need to do it on video though, so let's believe. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay, so we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna set the box in the back there because that's gonna work. And then we're gonna pull out our first graded card here. And so this is gonna be a Beckett, see that label? You can already kind of see with the label. So this is a white label, so that means I believe it's an eight. I think that's how that works. So our first graded card here is, you guys, you ready? Ooh, Parasite, Parasite, guys. Parasite, Parasite. So you guys will see there the centering, corners, edges, and surface. The centering on this Pharaoh Servant first edition box, usually, guys, when you get like a first edition box, all the cards will kind of follow suit and be a similar, have a similar issues. The centering was a little tough on this box. I, I think we all knew as we were watching it get open. But the good thing is, when most of the cards are centered properly, it's usually pretty insane um, what you can get on some of the grades. So, Magic Ruler First Edition, shout out to that box opening. Those cards almost look perfect. So, I'm really excited to see what we'll see on some of those. So, 
We got Surface. Surface is always usually pretty tough for grading when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh and Beckett. And then Edges and Corners. That's what you expect from Edges, edges and Corners out of a brand new um, card straight out of the box. So centering's tough and Surface is tough. But yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh has always had their, their issues with uh, Surface. All right. Let's see if we can surpass that with our next one here. All right, you guys ready? Let me take it out of this thing. It is a, wow, you guys really can't see that on the camera. That's pretty cool. Mirror Wall first edition. Nice graded card return there. And it looks like it's the exact same as the other one. 7.5 in the centering, 9.5, 9.5, 8.5. Man, these things are right at almost 8.5. I think 8.5, you get the silver label. So very cool, guys. Again, the centering on some of these a little tough. Man, it's not too bad, though. Ouch. All right. But yeah, the Parasite, Parasite, I feel like, definitely. Man, these Beckett slabs, though, guys. These are nice. These feel good. All right. Got our graded cards. So pretty crazy. Something we can do with some of our vintage openings on whatnot is uh, when we do those openings, we can't send the cards to get graded like this. So um, hopefully we can continue that relationship with Beckett because right now grading cards is a whole nother thing. So here we go. Next graded card here. Let's see what we get. And come on, 8.5 time. Ah, another one at the eights. This is the centering again. This is going to be Nobleman of Cross out. Gorgeous card, though. I feel like it's just, this one's got a better centering than the other two. Maybe it's the exact same. Probably the exact same. Um, love this card, you guys. Two 9.5s again, though, along with the surface and centering. Um, this is something like you may see this get a better grade with other grading companies, you know, because of the, the how other graders grade the centering, but this is still pretty nice. Back is like the exact same as the front too. All right, so we got our Nobleman, we got our mirror wall. Let's see what else we can get you guys, we ready? Part of the cards guide you guys. Three supers so far, so I'm glad to see that the eights are supers. Hopefully we don't have to see another eight as a ultra. Come on guys, let's get into that silver yeah we go okay we're into silvers we're into silvers um so we got 8.5s and nines in silvers come on let's see some nines some graded nine ultra rares that would be very good very good here we go magical hats nice 8.5 oh man centering centering again oh wow this one looks this one looks pretty good you can see it's got you can see it's got a little bit extra on the left compared to the right, but man, so it got, this is actually has a surface nine. Um, surface nine to 9.5 is very rare, I feel like for Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so very cool, guys. Don't really know what Konami did, but they definitely allowed to get dust on their foils. So this Magical Hats is very nice. Remember, Beckett is definitely one of the harsher grades. So you get a high grade in Beckett, you know you're gonna get a high grade anywhere else. So, but I'm glad, I'm just, I'm glad I could even get these graded for you guys. This is exciting for me. I'm just blown away that we were able to have a successful video where I could definitely get things graded for you guys. All right, here we go. Next one here. Hopefully we got all silver from now on. Let's see that nine. Oh, call the haunted ultra rare. That one's gorgeous. That one's gorgeous. 8.5 on the surface on that one. Oh man, this is literally almost a nine. Centering, centering again, and you can see it. You can see it, man. You can see the centering there. So if this would have had a surface nine, I think that would have brought it to a nine. I'm not sure exactly how that works with an eight centering, but yeah, you know, this centering, I feel like is even a little worse than the magical hats there. That's grading though, guys, that is grading. Yeah, this might be a little bit better. Crazy. So Call the Haunted 8.5, that's a mint Call the Haunted. Silver label though, beautiful card. Beautiful freaking card there. All right, you guys, few more hits left. We did end up grading. Um, so we had a uh, another box of Pharaoh's Servant again that we opened and we pulled uh, some other cards there, but we did end up grading the Jinzo 
from a 2003 tin. We didn't hit the 2003 Genzo, or I, is first edition Pro Server 2003? I think it's in the beginning of 2003. Um, we didn't hit the first edition Genzo from the 24 pack box, um, but we did have a graded tin as the giveaway to the highest bidder, or so a tin that we did grade the Genzo in. And so I'm kind of excited if these are ordered, uh, hopefully they're ordered, I don't see any more eights here. These are getting ordered in uh, lowest grade to highest grade. We haven't just seen Genzo yet, that's pretty exciting. So Genzo was from a tin, by the way, guys. A tin cards were, were very, very tough to get graded. Um, you know, they're, they're literally loose in the tin, loose. Konami never did that again after those 2002, 2003s. I think 2004 is when they started putting in the plastic you guys can help me out on that. But yeah, so let's see what we get for our next hit here. Oh, oh, I got a glimpse of that one. I got a glimpse. So is it an 8.5 or can we hit the nine? Oh! 8.5 on the thousand eyes. Oh, is it seriously the centering again? Oh, come on, you can give that an 8.5 in centering. Surface is good though. Oh, could have been better, I guess. Oh my God, this thing was gorgeous. I guess it's just the centering again. Man, the centering on this one is way better though than the Call of the Haunted. I don't know on this one, guys. Man, look at the Call of the Haunted. The Call of the Haunted is definitely worse. I get that that left side might have a little more give to it than the, the right, but I feel like this guy could have got could have got a nine. This could have been a nine. And freaking Beckett can be tough. Woo! Does anyone have a black label Yu-Gi-Oh card? I'm curious to see what that baby looks like. Or a gold label. <laughs> wow. That was a nice chick though. This was an incredible pool. If this was a nine, that would have definitely cemented its mint value. Um, 8.5, definitely interesting, but Nines and 10 in this, you guys, are thousands and thousands of dollars. So first edition Thousand Eyes was definitely one of the best pulls we could have gotten from that box. This box is again a little tough with the centering, so it's gonna stay up, we'll find out. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, so 8.5's incoming there. Still no Jinzo. That's looking pretty good for me. Come on, guys. We're missing Jinzo and a secret rare. Let's see which one it is. So this is the last two grades. I'm gonna keep these sideways for my soul and for your guys' souls. So, this was the order they came in here, guys. Oh, man. Which one is which? That's the freaking question right now. So we got two more slabs here. Okay. We get to see. We don't see anything from the back. All right, so we got another. We got another silver. We got another silver. And is it two silvers? If it's two silvers, that means we're we're at nines, nines or eight point fives again. Uh, gold label again is going to be nine point five to ten. And we still haven't seen the Jinzo. So this is pretty. This, this is getting pretty spicy, guys. This is getting pretty spicy. Are you ready? All right, all right, all right. We got a gold. We have a gold label. Thank you, Becky. Man, one gold label. <laughs> so we haven't seen, so I think we have a secret rare Imperial Imperial Order. That was a 36 pack box we opened. And then we have the secret rare Jinzo from the 10. So Jinzo, I mean a nine or 10 on a BPT Jinzo is crazy already, especially with Becky grading. So I'm just happy that Jinzo is one of these. I'm hoping it's a nine. I think we're, hope we're done with 8.5s. Um, so, but a gold Jinzo would be crazy. That would be really crazy. Um, the Imperial Order is also a really good hit too. So let's, let's see what happens. Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, it's Jinzo. I got a nine. It got a nine. Wow. Wow, guys. A graded BPT Jinzo actually hit a nine. That's, that's a really high grade for a Jinzo from the 10. Wow. Surface 8.5. Man, I'd expect to be see Surface on a freaking 2003, 2002 card. Usually it'd be a 7 or 7.5, guys. Those are, they have no sleeve, no plastic covering. Wow, that is one of the mintiest Jinzos I've ever seen from a 10. 
And then they said, dude, if centering, oh, they would have hit 9.5 on centering. I think three 9.5s would have done it. I'm not too sure how the goals work. I know you guys can help us out in the comments below. Um, oh, it looks like it's got a little bit of give on the right side for centering, but that's still really good. Corner's a nine, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't even, I thought that was a 9.5 up there. Never mind, so it's definitely a nine. Um, but the edges, 9.5, very nice edges for a car just sitting in a tin. Corners were good. So that's pretty, that's a really high Jinzo. That's for, that was Bartlett. Bartlett, man, you're a legend. He got that Jinzo tin. I'm glad we could send him a nine Jinzo. That's really good. That's really good. Gorgeous, gorgeous card there. Good job, Jinzo. Dude, freaking Jinzo being one of the highest grades. We have a gold label here, uh, 9.5 or 10. This is gonna be the Imperial Order. Um, wow, if we got a 10, that'd be crazy. Here we go. Man, those borders look great. Ah, 9.5, yeah, 9.5 across the board. So it looks like one grade can be below a 9.5 there. Wow, surface again, man. We did not pass this, the nine in surface the whole time. Yu-Gi-Oh and surface for, for Beckett is tough, very tough. 9.5 on Imperial Order across the board. Man, now these borders, I don't know how it gets much better than that. <laughs> I don't know. The centering guys, I don't know how it gets much better than this. I can't, you know, they can measure with their magnifying glasses and stuff and see some millimeters or whatever it is. So, man, that is a minty, minty, minty looking card. Congratulations, I think this was Rami. Rami got a freaking gem mint Imperial Order. So, this is a graded 10 though in most other uh, grades, including PSA. Most 9.5s I think will be a 10 in PSA. I think, again, you guys can have some more experience with that. But, uh, so this is Gem Mint, Gem Mint. Beautiful and pure order. Wow, very nice, you guys. I'm glad we could get a gold label. So we got one Gem Mint card here. That is absolutely amazing. So we did get Imperial Order and a Jinzo for the PSV. A nine and a, a nine and a 9.5 or a nine a mint. A mint and a Gem Mint, let's just say that. So that's pretty cool, guys. That's pretty freaking cool. But yeah, you guys, I'm excited to see what the graded returns will be for the Magic Ruler video. Uh, the Magic Ruler video we had some technical difficulties with um, during the recording. So what we did is we are going to show the video and the pulls that correlate with the return. Um, I think that'll be really cool. So I'm really excited for that. Hopefully you guys are too. A little low quality on the, uh, the video stuff for that, but it's, you'll have the returns with you. Uh, we'll, we'll be talking about the return. So I can't wait for that video because the centering, like you're seeing centering, I think is our main issue here. So if the centering was a, like, look at these, look at these three. If the centering was 8.5, these would be literally at least 8.5. If the centering was 9.5, these would be nines. So literally centering killed us, killed us. And then we'd look at our ultras. I mean, centering killed us again. I think if this was a nine or 9.5, I think this would have been a nine. I don't, I'm not sure how the nines come into play. So nine, nine, 8.5s. Yeah, you can, you can have 8.5s with um, nines. So I think three nines and one 8.5 give you a nine. So if that centering would have been a nine, these would have all been nines. And nines on ultras, woo, really good, really good. So um, that's really, this box just has some tough, tough centering guys. And then the two cards not from the first edition box. Uh, we killed it, so that's really good. A mint 2003 card again, again guys, I'm really, that's that's crazy. And of course, the freaking gem mint card, Rami's a freaking god. Um, but yeah, you guys, awesome video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This was just me kind of going through some stuff, doing some slabs with you guys. I'm glad that we could uh, do this today. Stay tuned, you guys, again, subscribe to Simple Lucky for more videos. Check out the WhatNot streams. They are so freaking godly. I'm working on getting like, some more cameras set up because our pools are stupid. Our pools are straight dumb sometimes, guys. So um, hopefully you guys will be excited for that. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and super unlucky signing out.